Let's get out of here. Blood tape. Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. I wonder if you can hack this game, like, like get outside of here. I mean, obviously it could be broken, but like, I don't know. It'll be interesting. Well, I don't just pop out. Kaidner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Bert must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. How complicated is going to be? <laughs> Did I lose somebody? There's something wrong. Hearing source of disturbance. We know someone's here. Keep looking. Since I'm doing leak, that doesn't really matter. Elevator's locked down, Sarge. The target must still be down there. Good. Find team tango and intercept. You can't see it. That was fun. Too far away. Stan, who is this? No, no. See if this is gonna be crowded or not. Warning. Gas dispersal imminent. This is not a drill. All detention silos will be decontaminated. Activating security scan. Biomechanics. 
Charge of data assembled. So because of the achievements, I know there's going to be a save prisoner or save scientist lady. Subject recognized. So I'm going to save it here so I can do both. Let me save it here so I can go back and redo it for the achievement in case I mess up. But I think I found that room already, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Kaitner! We really broke open a hornet's nest, didn't we, Jensen? It's bad. You need a medic. <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. Got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastards cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Not until you stop the gas. What gas? Burke's enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell, lab tube, unless you stop it. Are you, are you gonna die? Stay with me, Kaidner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. It directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to redirect. A whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. Kaitner? She's dead on. Kaitner! Can I loot your body? Can I loot your body? She's looking on her body. Is there a timer? Or no one? There's a lot of good men. Just stay alert for this agent. I can't remember what floor it was. I want to go. It's not it. I want this one. Do I have something in my town? What's the time? Oh, 
Apple stuff. I remember the Apple's like here. Shit, I lost all my armor already. Damn. Well, it's my soul's drink some stuff. Vision back, on. Hostile has fled the area. Stay on alert. Taylor! He shows himself again. I want him. Not here. Keep your eyes open. Now, still got the control. Eyes open, man. Makes sense. Warning. This is a code yellow. Mass facility decontamination initiated. Not it. This is definitely not it. This is not it. It is it. I know. There it is. Okay. Oh God, yes. The toxicity level is dropping. You found a way to save everyone, brother. What? The hacker from the ship. You've been listening this whole time. Zietka said, everything's connected. You'll still need to unlock the submersibles while Whistleblower can go free. Use the touch screen in the command tower. It'll also let you back inside the base. And why would I want to go there? Use your head, Chuvak. The last thing standing between you and Megan Reed is Burke. Alright. Let's relax now. Let's take this guy's hat. Oh shoot. Dang it. Is that it? It's on the third floor. So I did it in the middle? I did it in the middle. Flashing dots. Venting decontaminant. Kavanaugh, 
I've unlocked the hatch and I'm transmitting the coordinates to a rendezvous site. Oh, thank God. I thought when the code yellow started. It's over. Just make sure Interpol gets that evidence. I'm going after Burke. Jensen out. I'm gonna climb up here for this one. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. say Adam Jensen. That's right. I know who you are now. Katna wasn't quite as good at hiding her tracks as she thought she was. You're okay. clever. I'll give you that. Most men aren't capable of seeing beyond the choice in front of them. But whatever you think you've done, it's of no consequence. Helping that fool Kavanaugh escape, saving the lives of a few worthless civilians, it won't change anything. All you've done is make yourself a target. The Reed woman, this Megan you've been searching for, she's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again. A front bird, okay. I wish I recharged my energy. It's... Lot, you there? Quinn? Where are you? Getting me ours out of Dodge. Burke's had enough. And he's gunning for you. And I don't intend on being caught in the bloody crosswire. Right. But listen, that trick you pulled with the gas. Fucking brilliant work that was. Head to me shop. I left you a thing or two so you can give him hell. I'd like to say we'd meet again over a pint sometime, but... Well, Godspeed, mate. Where I was not prepared for one on one. Because I clearly killed everybody here, technically. It's a long island radar. Does he not give a fuck? He does not give a fuck. Sell stuff. Where the hell is the shop at? I don't remember where it is. I have to get out that guy first. Great. There's people 
outside. Alright, I guess I'm heavily on. Do I have a pass close by? Surviving this long, alone, surrounded by trained soldiers out to get you. Very impressive for nothing but an ex cop. Somebody? Yeah, I saw somebody. You got my trouble. Shit. <gasps> no one's close to you. What? Damn it. I was like, I can take it. No, I can't. Well, at least I know those people there, so watch out. Camel's work now? Is someone hiding over there? Seems like that. Lots of stuff. I don't think they can hop over, can they? Beer now. Do I have beer? Don't have beer. I have more beer. Why is that on? That's really weird. Try to take painkillers. Is my mission to go this way? Yeah, I want to go to good shop. I know this is an uh, achievement to get uh, Flynn's back door or something like that. So I hope I figured that out. Oh, 
Jesus. Disarming. Okay. Oh, that's what's inside here. Titan. Do I have the hammer for it? Don't. I can't sell anything. Rockets. I guess this is a boss fight, so. Let's see what along. I want. I don't want. Er, interesting actually. I don't know what's in there. I don't want to regret it. Self into my hands. Don't need this. Is that a rocket? No, I don't know. I don't want she to be like. Save and quit. Okay. If I didn't know you were gonna cause me so much trouble, I would have never given in to my curiosity. Guess that's it. Lieutenant Commanders, uh, you, for lack of a better word, surprised me. I didn't think she had a dinner. Makes me think perhaps other forces were aboard. There's a freaking turret. Make the call. Make the call. So it's really that strong. I didn't have time for it to be that strong. Kind of disappointed that she killed that guy first hit. So this was a pain killer first. You know, it didn't take much digging to figure out who you are. We have a surprisingly extensive file on you. Make the call. Make the call. Alright, 
someone's like a plane. Where's my ball though? It's supposed to come front, I know that. It's supposed to be here. Okay. I could just run out, you know? Got one person at least. Look at yourself. Innocent men are worthy of your compassion. Why well, suppose they're guilty of simply trying to stop them? If you feel any better about Katna's death, I doubt you had any intention of sending you on to the good doctor. Yeah, I think I'm on the upper floor. There's a freaking turret over there. Here, mine. Just disable it. Your blood bust is showing, Jensen. I do think it's gotten the better of you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're done with that. Lives in high regard, do you, Jensen? I find that ironic. That's a lot of people. I'd better keep looking. Why didn't it fizz? Oh, damn it. I don't know. I just felt like his, my shooting wasn't very accurate there. Obviously.
serious? Oh. I want to try taking long this time. Let's see. It's kind of annoying. I'm just gonna throw it. Yeah. It's actually horrid, kind of. I'm gonna try to cast my needs. Kill somebody. Pink has instant, like. So that gets all the way down, it goes all the way up to like 125. Right? Okay. Did I kill someone? Now the game's lagging. Okay, it's funny that I'm noticing down killing everybody. Now explain to me how your killing my man is more justified than the deaths you attribute to me. You're nothing but a I definitely want to kill that damn robot. Let's look at their town.
much righteous and judge, jury, and executioner, agents, and small-minded fool. I thought possibly to recruit you, but I see now you would never make a good soldier. Which is my thing. I'm curious. How far do you think Dr. Reed would go for her research? I think you'd be surprised, Jensen. I think the last guy's dead, so there. That's him. I'll hold this letter here. So the setup is actually nice because... Oh, fuck it. Aww, okay. Yeah, the setup is actually nice because there's so many options. Nice, it's right here. I can't actually... I'm a little bit happy to get all my shit back. All the upgrades. You've earned your shot, Jensen. Come on. Access granted. Don't, don't keep me waiting. So yeah, I can't access this down the bus. It'll be really fun. right there. You've earned your shot, Jensen. Come on. Don't, don't keep me waiting. Oh my god. 
Oh, he heard me. I really want to take him down, though. I just want to take him down. Two shots. Pretty cool. Uh, uh. It sounds like your struggles are almost over, Bratan. Is Brock dead? I'm standing, he's not. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you don't make things easy, do you? Still, with Brock out of the picture even briefly, as a power vacuum I can use, a return to loading bay 2, the doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed. I'm curious about the little overwhelm. But a tan. What I get to know. Beer office. I can't leave without knowing. Oh my god, I don't have enough. I probably use concussion grenades. There is a bolt heading to. It's cold in there. Portal location as we speak. If you hurry, it can be on it. Turned off, yay. Alright, let's get out of here. DLC wise, it was fun. Scare me. Okay. Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours, shrouded. She saw what she needed to see and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns, except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely, and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. And the prisoners? Ah, yes. The prisoners. With Kavanaugh out, it's only a matter of time before this base makes international headlines. Until that time, however, I cannot say what Bell Tower will do next. I only know that a cornered and desperate bull is a very dangerous beast. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. Okay. I still have questions, Quinn, and I want answers. Real answers. No more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but keep in mind you have a boat to catch. Uh, base. Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Buck did most of the damage control for us. After requesting a profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications 
and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltow realizes something is wrong, it will already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of cordoning off this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. Burke isn't exactly dead. And once he wakes up, it's gonna get ugly. Like I said before, you haven't made things easier for us. But they haven't forgotten that small detail. For now, Buck remains contained. Once you're off the base, I'll find a more permanent solution. Uh, I didn't kill him, so... Keitner said she had been approached by an agent from Interpol. It was you, wasn't it? Very astute. When I learned of Commander Keitner's suspicions and insubordinate behavior towards Burke, I saw an opportunity. Pretending to be an agent of Interpol seemed the best way to gain her trust. You mean you lied. So who do you work for? A loose network of independent operatives, agents of conversion and equilibrium, who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy, officially. Your enemy? You're not just talking about Bell Tower anymore, are you? You're talking about... The men and women who pull Bell Tower strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. Okay, well, let's do some... I actually have no idea. I wasn't using my... Yeah. Charming us? Mr. Jensen, allow me to stop you there before you say anything that might embarrass us both. What? Please. I detected your Cassie augmentation the moment you started to analyze my facial movement for pattern sequencing. But back in your workshop, you... All part of the game. Think nothing of it. As much as I enjoyed your clumsy attempts at persuasion that first time around, we'll just move on from here. Now. Pretending you managed to convince me to be more forthcoming with my words. What is it you hope to learn? Something more tangible than a flowery speech about idealism. Because I admire your tenacity, I will attempt to satisfy your curiosity. But only if you'll humor me for a moment and answer a question of my own. Sounds fair. In Roman mythology, Janus was a god depicted as having two heads, each gazing in the opposite okay. direction. Okay, One looking eastward. The other west. Symbolically, this meant many things to the Romans, but I'm more curious as to what it might mean to you. Seeing into the past and the present, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega. I believe you and I have more in common than you would like to admit. Technically, I suppose there is no incorrect answer. Theologians and philosophers have debated the origin and meaning of Janus for millennia. But in time, that name may take on new meaning for you. Why? What are you getting at? While the term invisible war has lost much of its significance due to misappropriation, I assure you, there has never been a better way to describe what is happening in the world. The lives of millions are being decided without a drop of blood ever spilt. But the casualties remain the same. Myself and others are fighting a never-ending battle against forces that seek absolute dominion over our fates. You're telling me the people running Bell Tower want to rule the world? Bell Tower Associates is no more than a proxy. Puppets on a global stage. The true enemy hides in shadows. The disembodied hands that pull the strings of Bell Tower and others. This is neither the time nor the place to go into detail, but everything you've witnessed here today is in direct correlation with Illuminati interests. <sighs> Roman gods and Illuminati. Wonderful. You asked for clarity, and I'm being as honest as I can. Whether you choose to acknowledge them or not, lines are being drawn. 
Most will never be lucky enough to pick a side. But a time will come when you will have to. I have chosen mine. Okay. All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, man. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans like riding off into the sunset. Yeah. Alright. So I got a two people for that. Apparently wants us to talk to them. Oh, that's my inventory. Are you son of a bit? Are you serious? Holy shit. That's everything. Oh my gosh. Alright. Yeah, I gotta drop this. done. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands and we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. What? Assuming he lives that long. Okay. So he's not the mysterious Russian guy. 